peek-a-boo, peek peek bear bear. Oh, we got a story, a winter story. It's coming on to winter in this book. The title says, Bear's Big Dreaming. I love the pictures in this book, friends. They're so gorgeous. This book was written by Michael Rosen, illustrated by Daniel Ignew. Not sure I pronounced that right. This book was published by Bloomsbury Children's Books. Bear's Big Dreaming. Here we go, friends. Big Bear looked up at the sky and sniffed. The cold was coming, and it was time to get ready for the sleep. For bears sleep all winter long and wake up in the spring. Little Bear was worried. Will I dream during the sleep, Big Bear? Oh, yes, said Big Bear. You'll dream and dream and dream. Is it, asked Little Bear, a big dreaming? Yes, Little Bear, it's a big dreaming. Little Bear was still worried. What if, what if, what if in the big sleep I run out of dreams? Then there would be a big nothing, Little Bear thought. I know, he thought. I'll go and look for some dreams. Little Bear wandered through the forest until he met a squirrel. Squirrel, 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 he said. We're getting ready for the big dreaming. We're getting ready for the sleep. Do you have any spare dreams for when we sleep? Deep, deep. Squirrel said, yes, I had a dream. I dreamed of playing all summer long with my sisters. This is the dream of happiness right now. Thank you, Squirrel, said Little Bear, and on he walked. Little Bear wandered through the forest until he met a rabbit. Rabbit, 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 he said. We're getting ready for the big dreaming. We're getting ready for the sleep. Do you have any spare dreams for when we sleep deep, deep? Little Rabbit said, yes, I had a dream. I had a dream that I was lost and I didn't know what to do. But then a skylark flew past me and he showed me the path all the way home. This is the dream of coming home safe. Thank you, Rabbit, said Little Bear, and on he walked. Little Bear wandered through the forest until he met a wolf. Wolf, 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 he said. We're getting ready for the big dreaming. We're getting ready for the sleep. Do you have any spare dreams for when we sleep deep, deep? Wolf said, yes, I had a dream. It was night and I was very young. I was just a little wolf looking up at the shining moon. And as I looked, the light in the moon went out, like a candle blows out in the wind. The night was darker than it had ever been, and I was scared. But... The next night, the moon came back into the sky, clear and bright and true. Now I know that if the moon disappears, it will always come back. This is the dream of always having hope. Thank you, wolf, said Little Bear. As Little Bear turned toward home, snow began to fall from the sky, heavy and white. The cold had come. Oh no, thought Little Bear. What if he didn't get home in time for the big dreaming? On and on he struggled, shivering, lost and scared. But then he remembered the dreams he had gathered. 
Squirrel's dream warmed him with happiness. Rabbit's dream reminded him of the safe path home. And Wolf's dream told him to always have hope. At last, he saw a big bear's shape through the snow and he rushed toward it. You're back, said Big Bear. I was so worried. Yes, said Little Bear, smiling. And I brought back some dreams so that we don't run out in the middle of the sleep. That's good, said Big Bear, licking Little Bear's ear. That's very, very good. Big dreaming, Little Bear, said Big Bear. Big dreaming, Big Bear, said Little Bear, curling up next to him. And so they slept and they dreamed and dreamed and dreamed all the way to spring. Bears big dreaming. I miss you friends. Mm.